<laughs> it's your girl Pammy. So today is going to be my first impression of uh, the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup Micro Clear Foundation. And my face is bare with no foundation, no concealer whatsoever. I did although apply my everyday moisturizer and a primer. Now I'm going to apply everything the way I would normally apply on a daily basis if I was going to apply foundation. And this is in shade Natural Tan 100. This foundation claims to not clog pores. It's hypoallergenic. It controls shine with natural looking coverage. Rapidly cuts through oil for fast acne relief. I'm gonna do this side which is more blemished. So, I'm gonna open this. I got, again, shade Natural Tan 100. And I'm just gonna apply on the back of my hand. Now, the foundation's a little thicker consistency. I'm hoping for a more matte finish for the summer and to fall. Now this one does have a treatment with salicylic acid. It's supposed to help prevent future breakouts. So I'm just going to take my flat kabuki. This is my Bedellium Tools or Dellium Tools 957. And here I go. So I'm just going to dab how I normally would. On one side. Now it feels really light on the skin, which I really like. It does have um, like that foundation scent, I guess. I mean, it's not over scented, but I can't explain the smell of it. So I'm just gonna dab like I normally would apply. My foundation so here is the coverage it's a lot better you can tell compared to my other side um, you can see my dark spots and my you know redness around the nose and this side earlier I didn't have I had redness around this area and it obviously covered let's try the other side we're gonna go with the second layer and just areas that are needed so I'm just gonna take my foundation brush I dab more. And we're gonna see if this is my shade after it sets. Now even with the second layer, it doesn't feel like I it doesn't feel like I have foundation on, which is nice. So according to the camera, my face looks a lot more pale compared to my body so I definitely would have to say I would have to go maybe a shade darker but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my makeup bronze up a little bit to see how the color sets and tones into my skin and I will be back so this is 10 minutes after I applied the foundation and I absolutely love this foundation hands down. Now I look for long lasting, you know, the power of the foundation, the coverage of the foundation, the consistency and just really how it looks on the skin in general. Now in terms of consistency, I really, really love this foundation. At first I was really scared to actually apply it on because it was a little thicker as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. And as I applied it on with my Kabuki brush, it glided on perfectly smoothly on my skin. It's very blendable on the skin, which is A+. plus. I've never tried any Neutrogena foundation, so this is strictly my first impression on this brand. Now in terms of the undertone, I can't really justify as to if it fits on my skin or if it feels like it's more like on the grayer undertone. I can't really tell. You guys let me know because I always need a second opinion. Um, it looks good on camera and it looks good in person, so I'm gonna have to say it looks good. It has no SPF, I've tried flash photography, no white cast, so this is very good for you girls who are going out for, you know, a girls night out and you're, even after two layers of this foundation, my skin still feels very light, very breathable, and just looks very flawless on camera and in person. So the label, as it claims, is very true. It does make your skin look very natural and radiant. And it just is very light on the skin in terms of coverage. I don't know what they claim on coverage, but I do have to say 
that it is very full coverage. As you guys can see in the video, I had blemishes on my skin and you obviously can't tell that I have blemishes. So you get one fluid ounces, which is the average amount. This was priced at $14 and some change at CVS. It's a little bit more pricier than any other store. So you could probably get it for 10, 11 bucks at Walmart. Uh, but CVS is a little bit more expensive. Ooh.